<laughs> you fight two niggas with her, you, you might have to like, you know, shoot that bitch. Yeah, you have to use a weapon or pull out a gun on her ass, man. She's indestructible. She'll eat your, she'll eat your punch and try to take off and shit. It's funny about it, honestly, even if you want one on one with three, three men or whatever, like, you still gonna get tired after this. Oh yeah, day. yeah, yeah. Three. You gotta be fucking like, Bones Jones or somebody, out the first yeah. you know? Yeah. Change your whole life for this yeah. shit. Like, shake it off. Huh? The leg, the leg goes to the floor. You really don't care. You gotta worry about the cops after. Huh? You gotta worry about all kinds of shit. But with that, that means you're not gonna get physically tired. You're not gonna, you know, your concentration power, gonna be there. The power had to be with them during those battles. Oh yeah. The power was on our men. Like when we went into battle, when the Lord said, "I will deliver them into your hands." Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the Lord, you know, oh, yeah. put the. the, the he put the spirit on them. The spirit was on them to, to, to put those men to fight or put them to death. Mm -hmm. You know? But the Lord, he, he, he the one that dictates the motion of, of battle. Yeah. He determines who's going to be the victor in, in all battles. He already knows. He it's already, it's he already, already written. You know? We went into Jericho. That was, that was, that was an act of the Lord all time. All right? But uh, who was uh, you was reading? No, that's it. Go ahead. Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Man, come on, man. Uh, ability to fly, ability uh, to uh, run. Like flash, you know, teleport, teleport, telepathic ability, you know, Con control someone's mind. Mm. Yeah, read <laughs> mind, like like the account. You said he had the ability to read minds. You know, like Yahweh Shai, he was able to uh, perceive the thoughts mm -hmm. of the wicked spies and Pharisees. <laughs> I knew their thoughts. That's what he said. Because I knew their thoughts. He knew their thoughts. <laughs> said, Why tempt you me? Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Spiritual, you know, spiritual discernment. And we kind of got that now on a small level because yeah. when Christians come up here, we already know the precepts they're going to go to. We already know, you know, what they're going to say, what, you know, pretty much what they're going to say, what they think, you know. And this, in this. Same oh, thing with niggas. Yeah, niggas yeah, 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 right. You know exactly how a nigga come Nigga gonna say either the white man wrote that Bible, uh -huh. um, King James was a, King James was a uh, you know, y'all should be reading the Quran, yeah. you know. Then we can we, we can just run down. It's like five questions, five things, response. The nigga's gonna say, oh, where y'all money at? Where the white man at on the sign? Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and, and, and another something that, that we were taught, the prophets taught. To get on the floor and let them put their mm. foot in their mouth. See what they know. See what they know. Yeah. And then what they don't know, you have to learn to communicate. And then show them what they don't know. See what they know. Clear up the bullshit out of what they know. And then teach them what they don't know. Right. Mm -hmm. All good tactics, but all at the same time, edification is, is the point. You know, that, that, that they're, they're gaining something. But a lot of niggas don't. You're really going to just be using them as an example to edify the camp. Right. Those yep. that are willingly wanting to learn this thing. And, and before we get those new bodies, you know, before all that, hey, certain brothers are going to have the power to heal. Mm -hmm. You know? This which yeah, which yeah. that's going to be seen by a lot of our people. Because our people need healing. You know? With There's all the shit that they're putting in, the, all these chemicals and shit that's in the air now, that's in, in society. I, you know, somebody might have to be helping. So about months ago, yeah. how they was trying to put the, the, uh, the, the jab in the silence and shit. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know, that just went quiet as kept. So who knows if it's, it's already in the damn, you know, leafy greens and trying to eat healthy. So yeah, it's definitely going to need some uh, miracles. Really need to yeah. Yeah. Definitely need some miracles, man. There's jakes that, uh, that have been... They're completely out of their mind. You know? They're, they're bugged out. Lunatics. Exactly. Uh, brother might heal a person like that. You know? 
there's stories in the scriptures where people were just bugged out and they were healed. Yeah, you had the one lunatic, he kept falling in the, into the fires and uh -huh. he was bugging out, man, foaming at the mouth. The Lord healed him. They saw him acting normal, and people was like, they they got they got fearful. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. You know? Just imagine that, man. You know this dude is a he's just a straight madman. He, he's he's been he's punching holes in exactly. walls. You know, foaming at the mouth. He's just going crazy, and then out of nowhere, he just you know you lay your hand on him, and now he just thank you, man. Thank you. So what? He just he's calm now. He just you know, walk. Remember? Thank you. And, uh, on the strip right here. We were going on the strip right over here. Like, yeah, his car was just... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was cool super fucked up. He had demons. He poured that ice chip. That was 40 pounds of ice in that pool, bro. He, he picked it up with one, with, one, with one hand. Just, yeah. just put, put, put over his head. Yeah, like, he, he just like, uh, uh, like that. And that shit was heavy. It take you, it's going to take you. You're going to be like... Uh, this dude lifted up like that. that was, that's how you know it was, it was a spirit on him. But then, out of nowhere, the brother came to him and just poured some water on his head. And he was just hot. It wasn't hot like outside hot. It was warm. It wasn't hot like that. He was talking about it. As soon as he got here, he was like, thank you, man, thank you. I just kept pouring water. like, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you know. Thank you. Calm now. We was, I was, I was like, damn, I don't want to fight this guy. What's yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to have to do that, man, but yeah. that water just took over. I remember that nigga, man. He's hitting on my shit and shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, back up. So, yeah, man, power like that to heal. You know? To, uh, to feed people. You know? You, hey, you might get a little following after you, you know? People trying to uh, cling on to you. Now, now you're feeding them. You, you, you have the power to create food. You know? You have the power to take somebody who, who is in a wheelchair for 20 plus years and freaking kill them. And now they walk. You put somebody in a wheelchair, now you come upstairs and they gotta keep going like, yeah. hey, you need to make it upstairs. And I can't make it. And I'll go to make it. I'll, I'll help them. And then long they actually walk in that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just be up there walking up the stairs with you. Or even people that are, are artistic. <laughs> yeah. Like, like. All manner. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then the counts of all of these. And, and that's where uh, the Lord said he's going to give us fame. Right? He's going to, 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 it says, you know, and as the hour shot passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth, and his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Yahushai answered, Neither have this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of Yahweh should be made manifest in him. He was born to for that for that moment. Yeah. Right. For that very moment. For those believers mm -hmm. to see. Right. To, to, to build their faith in them. Right. Yep. I must the works the work I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh that no man can work. And as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. He has he has dust on, bro. He spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and said unto him, Go wash ye in the go wash in the pool of Siloam which is by interpretation sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed and came seen. The neighbors, therefore, and they which were before had seen him, that he was blind and said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him, but he said, I am he. I, I wish you would have hit. Therefore said they unto him, How were thine eyes open? He answered and said, A man that is called Yahweh Shai made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed and I received my sight. No time out. I just want to make a small point right here, but it's not a small thing to understand. The whole process is what made him be able to see. It wasn't like he just said, you can now see. Not that he couldn't have done that. Yeah, he had that. But he had the full scenario. He had Let that me put the clothes. 
I'm gonna put the play on there. Now you take a walk down to this water and go, go shower up and fresh up. Take a walk in the water. That's significant. That's spiritual in itself. Yeah. He had to hey, physically, you know, uh, take those steps or that responsibility. Yep. Hey, and what? Take the water is what the word. You know, same with us. Hey, we take the water and hey, we run with it. Yep. And after that, the full process. If you start, I mean, sometimes like they touch the garment when was here. You know, but but this particular situation, it was a process, and that process isn't something to be ignored. You know, some of these processes, like actually anointing with oil, is a, is a, is a, is a benefit to, to actually having that oil on you. Uh -huh. You know, it's a, it, some of it is physical, and it's an act of faith in in, 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 in the flesh to, to, to use that the physical um, ritual, so to speak. Anointed mine eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed, and I received sight. I received sight. And then you see how else I had to go with him. He probably continued on where he was going. Where was the one that was lame? Where was the, where was the man that was lame? I got it right here. Oh, you got it, bro. It's uh, Acts chapter 3. We we'll start at the top. It says, now Peter and John went up together into the temple. And this is beautiful because this isn't just your how shine You see, the power is being shared with us. Yeah. This is truth that it can be shared with us as well. And, it, and, it's, and the, the thing about it is they're doing these miracles in the name yep. of yeah. Yahweh by Shai. Yeah. yeah. At the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour, and a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried. Whom whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask alms of them that enter into the temple. Who, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked in alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give, give I thee. In the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of Nazareth, rise up and walk. A lot of times people will come up, a lot of times people will come up and ask, y'all got a dollar, y'all got this or that? Like, Man, we got something better than that. And a lot of times they'll walk off. But those that stick around, we don't know. We just handed them a seed <laughs> that they have to now go in water and can wake them up. Once they see a miracle. Yeah, yeah. Or oh, we have people that used to come up, oh, can you say a prayer for me? Yep. I'm going through this, this, and this. And we yep. say, you know, you could sit here and listen. Yeah. You know, that's. And, and the brother may just step up to himself and say something, you know. So, somebody, in yeah. those days, somebody with uh, a terminal cancer yep. can come up to you. Yeah. Hey, man, I only got this long to live, man. You know, can you spare me a little something? I got you. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're a healed man. You know, turn that person from, from being uh, a terminal to now you're healed. And in, and in turn, now you're a believer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, that, and see, that's why the works, and that's why those, the works of having somebody do something to prove their belief in it is, is, is powerful. It's not mm -hmm. So you just get to stick around, it just, just happens for you. No, you gotta work too. Yeah. You gotta put something, some energy into it. But, but so having them listen for a while, having them um, uh, well, go home, man, start changing your diet, man. So are you still eating these bad foods? Stop eating that shit, man. So are you still doing this? Cut that shit out, you know? And then start showing them the right ways. If they do those things, that may change their status. And the from terminal to, to stage three. And then from <coughs> stage three to cure. You know? Yeah. Hey, well, tell them, hey. Go and tell the people what great things the Lord has done for you. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And this is his name. Yep. You know? We de we, yep. We're, this name. we're not just going to be healing. We, Because we're going to be able to read people too, man. Right? Yeah. We yeah. the niggas, man. No, Fuck no. No, you, nope. you, you got you to go through this, man. 
Because we're going to be able to discern 